skeletons in my closet. Hi, we're back with, with, with some really, this is a traveling show today. We have people, where are you based? This is Magnolia Memoir. And um, <laughs> thank you. And where, where do you come from? Uh, we just came out from Los Angeles. That's what I thought, yeah. I was going to say L.A., but then maybe my Louisiana, Mississippi folks would be confused, so. Ah. So, um, are you from there originally? My dad's from there. Wow. And what about you? Um, born in Los Angeles, grew up in Laguna. Claim I'm from Chicago because of what my cell phone says, and it was my favorite city. Uh, and then got dragged back to L.A. for work. So, how did you meet? Where, I'm just looking for the chat. Um, sorry, what did you say? Uh, where, how did you meet? Oh, uh, we met through a mutual friend who said we work amazingly together. And I thought that he was embellishing because he has a tendency to everything's the best, and he wanted to be 100% correct. And, and you're just a small skeleton of the band Magnolia Memoir, is this correct? Yeah, we're a five piece. Right. right. Uh, just me and a friend, Alex, who's our music director. Ah, and you have a lot of big news going on right now, like giant news, is that yeah, right? Yeah, we just got signed. Yeah. Thank God to a New York-based label. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's awesome. And how'd that happen? Um, is it like a Cinderella story? It's you a look Cinderella kind of story. story. Ah, that's nice. Well, actually, um, I have a friend who has a catering business, and uh, I lost my job. I worked for a Wall Street mortgage firm. A few years back, and uh, I took a, an extra job catering. And um, one of the jobs was working for a really great lady, and you can always tell people by how they treat the help. And she was helping me wash dishes, and uh, I was working on this jazz uh, project, and um, it turns out she was uh, an owner of a record label. Wow. So I got discovered washing the dishes. Were you singing while you were washing the dishes? No, I wasn't. So you just were chatty? Yeah. Nice, that's perfect. So then, then you went to LA from there? And then I said the job was in LA. Oh, it was a Wall Street company in LA. We were based uh, in funny back and forth from New York to Los Angeles. Wow, that sounds pretty nice. That's awesome. So how long have you been playing music together? Um, three years, I guess. Okay. Yeah. LA is a weird place. We have no seasons. Um, so it feels like I've lived a full and long debaucher summer. But I guess it's coming on six years now, which is terrifying. I think we've been playing for three years. I think we've been together three years. Oh. And I heard a bunch of the songs, and like uh, when I when I heard it, I commented to L.A. to um, your your manager out there, and she, and she said she heard that comment a lot. I thought you sounded like Maureen from Rent. Oh, I love that. I do too. I mean, I mean, I love Rent, and that's the kind of feeling I got, so I'm so curious to hear how you sound right now, because in all your songs, I feel that there are a lot of differences in each song. They don't all sound like one season. Yeah. <laughs> they sound seasoned. To go around again. Yeah. Um, yeah, the whole thing is um, we pay for our lives as TV composers, so we wind up writing a lot of very cinematic things. Um, not to sound like a sellout, but as we write, we think placement. We think, oh, not what we're writing. Good for you. So where have you had placement? Oh, God, nowhere yet. For this ah. project. <laughs> but we're working on it. Have you had any in another project? Yeah, quite. Can you tell me? Oh, yeah. Um, Tori Spelling has sang some of my songs on her reality show. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, MTV Movie Awards. Um, God, I, I need to check my MDB. Oh, Bright right TV. Yeah. We just... Uh, we did a bunch of Alpha and Omega stuff, like... Uh, we, we were lucky enough to work with Grantley Phillips on uh, A Girl Walks Into a Bar. Oh, yeah, which was a movie with Josh Hartman. I forgot what he did. Hartnett. Hartnett. You're his biggest fan. I am. Although I know Rosario Dawson's name, so. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. She's in, in the, the movie. movie. Congress. And she's in yeah. Grant also. Yeah. But you reminded me of, of Maureen, not Mimi. I get well, Mimi more, but like from the show, not the movie. I know. I, I know Brent so well. I love Brent. Do you like Brent? I love it. Do you like Brent? I adore it, really. I didn't know any of this was you know, coming up. <laughs> well, Brent has nothing to do with it, but they reminded me of you. Yeah, that, that, that score is one of my favorites of all time, so I, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Oh, my God, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, you want to sing a little and then come back and tell me some skeletons from your closet? And 
you get to try the gumbo. It's oh. National Cajun <laughs> Gumbo Day. How yeah. appropriate. I, yeah, because you you're want... from Louisiana. Yeah. Did wow. you know that October 12th was um, National Gumbo Day? Yeah. Now, that's kind of a double-edged sword. Like, if I say no, all my folks are going to be saying Well, I don't what? think anybody knows. I mean, who would know? I didn't know unless I looked it up because I look up to see what's happening on the day of the show. I gotta be honest, I did not know this. And while she was talking, I had some butterscotch candy. Yeah, um, that's because she's... we aim to please here. But that gumbo with the butterscotch, I'm a little concerned about. Oh, it's going to be so good. It's sweet and sour, baby. It's rock and roll. Exactly. It's like Asian gumbo. Is there anything you wouldn't try? <laughs> we'll talk later. Uh, <laughs> it's that cute dress. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, we're coming back because I want to hear these guys. Magnolia Memoir. Yes. Yes, in New York. 